Developed by Yakov Putuzov and Daria Vodjanea, Loretta is a psychological thriller visual novel set in the 1940s which tells the story of a housewife, Loretta, and her husband, Walter. The pair move from their glamorous lives in New York City to take up residence at Walter's parents' farm after coming into money troubles. Loretta is inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's mystery noir portfolio, though what makes this title so unique is that we know who committed the murder from the get-go. In fact, we're an accomplice. Loretta's story very much feels like a spin on Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. Loretta is dragged penniless to a deteriorating farmhouse in the middle of nowhere as a result of Walter's gambling addiction. Then, after she's given up her glamorous life in the city and now resides as a miserable housewife in the countryside, she discovers that her husband is cheating on her with another woman. Walter's future is also looking bright. As well as his new side fling, he's also just completed a book which is looking to be successful. After learning that Walter has a large sum of life insurance stashed away, Loretta plots his murder. We start the game as a private detective turns up at Loretta's door to ask questions about Walter's disappearance. From the beginning, we're shown that Loretta is an unreliable narrator. For one, she introduces herself to the player as an unemployed ornithologist, but we later learn that she's just made this up. Loretta will also lead you on by making you think that your choices matter, only to reveal what's happened is always going to happen, we can't change the past. This is somewhat annoying though, it's effective in reducing your trust in Loretta and her narration but it also makes your choices somewhat meaningless. We can choose to help Loretta cover her deed up or turn her back on the web of lies and speak the truth. As an adventure game there are 5 endings in total to unlock. Despite this I wouldn't say there's an awful lot of replay value in Loretta, as the majority of the story will remain the same, aside from the ending. Which is a shame because it only took me two and a half hours to complete one playthrough. I love the art style in Loretta. Most of the gameplay will be made up of pixel art, however when a new character is introduced or during key moments will be treated to a more detailed snapshot of the scene. The only downside is Loretta is a point and click game, but interactable objects aren't highlighted, so you'll have to do a lot of pixel hunting to make sure you don't miss anything. You can move Loretta across the room and interact with any available objects to solve puzzles or make decisions. There are dialogue options during conversations, however I found that a lot of these didn't actually matter, as if you were given two questions to choose from, Loretta would usually ask the leftover one anyway. At the end of each chapter you'll usually be given a puzzle to solve. I really wasn't a fan of these, some of them didn't make any sense at all and you would have to fail first to work out how to solve it. On top of this, some of the jigsaws were just too easy, as all you had to do was rotate the piece to the correct angle and it would then slot itself into the correct position on the puzzle. Either way, I think Loretta just could have done without these decisions, or they could have at least been made more challenging. Despite this, the actual writing in Loretta is really compelling and I love the novel style descriptions. With such basic visuals, having scene descriptions made each scene more immersive, which was very much appreciated. There were a few typos in the writing, but this isn't a major issue and I'm sure these will be picked up on and patched in the future. One of the biggest highlights of Loretta is the audio editing and music. The ambient sounds used to set the scene are really effective at further painting a picture past the pixelated graphics. Yet there's also a tone to them which is almost unnerving, even during the quieter moments. The music is really well done with a few piano covers of classical pieces. Loretta's enigmatic story is perfect for a psychological thriller and its stylish pixelated visuals are supported by detailed scene descriptions and immersive ambient sounds and music to paint a picture of each scene in your head. At only two and a half hours long, Loretta is an enticing playthrough despite the flaws in its gameplay mechanics. 6 out of 10, I cautiously recommend Loretta.